హలో ఎవరి వన్ ఐఎ మిస్సెస్ పి సుధా అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎకనామిక్స్ కేఎస్ఆర్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ విమెన్ తిరుచంగూడు నవ్ వీ టాక్ అబౌట్ మ్యాక్రో ఎకనామిక్స్ ఇన్ ద టాపిక్ ఈస్ కన్సంప్షన్ ఫంక్షన్ కన్సంప్షన్ ఫంక్షన్ షోస్ ద రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ కన్సంప్షన్ అండ్ ద వేరియస్ లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ ఇన్కమ్ అస్ ద ఇన్కమ్ రైసెస్ కన్సంప్షన్ ఆల్సో రైసెస్ దర్ ఇస్ ఎ డైరెక్ట్ రిలేషన్షిప్ బిట్వీన్ కన్సంప్షన్ అండ్ ద ఇన్కమ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ రిటర్న్ యాజ్ సి ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు సిఓ ప్లస్ సిబివై consumption function has two types one is autonomous function uh, consumption it means that the level of consumption is independent of the changes in income this is an amount of consumption which will take place even when the income is zero in the equation zero is the autonomous consumption next one is induced consumption it means the level of consumption which changes with the change in income as the income rises consumption also increases in the equation by represent induced investment consumption importance of consumption function consumption function is a great and important tool in understanding other macroeconomic indicators variables and factors through the analysis of the consumption function we are able to better understand the business cycle interest rates capital stock and money supply just to name a few the insights that the consumption function provides to decision makers are they to formulating policies making investment and other macroeconomic decisions you may be wondering how the consumption function does that the consumption function provides insight into the one of the greatest economic agents in any economy the household and their decision making and consumption behavior which has a larger impact on the economy average propensity to consume an yeah, increase in the average propensity to consume denotes a high demand for goods and services and increase or decrease in the average propensity to consume also determines the propensity to save the opposite of the average propensity to consume is the average propensity to save marginal propensity to consume in economics marginal propensity to consume is defined as proportion of aggregate rise in pay that a consumer spend on the consumption of goods and services as opposed to saving it marginal propensity to consume is component of keynesian macroeconomic theory and is calculated as the change in consumption divided by the change in income keynes psychological law of consumption keynes introduced the law of consumption which is popularly known as the keynesian law of consumption according to the law as income increases consumption also increases but at a lesser rate than the increase in income the two important properties of this law is that as income increases consumption increases but at a lesser rate than income increases as income increases saving increase and an increasing rate absolute income hypothesis in in economics the absolute income hypothesis concern how a consumer divides their disposable income between consumption and saving it is part of the theory of consumption proposed by economics john menard keynes relative income hypothesis the relative income hypothesis puts forth the idea that an individual utility utility regarding consumption and saving depends on their income and income relative to other people rather than it is absolute value about the standard of living the hypothesis mainly aimed to the explain savings behavior in the united states permanent income hypothesis the permanent income hypothesis is a model in the field of economics to explain the formation of consumption patterns it suggests consumption patterns are formed from future expectation and consumption smoothing thank you